a mile or so off the coast of Newport, all of a sudden came up on this massive pot of dolphins. You shut the motor off and we're just floating there and these dolphins were just swimming around the boat. It, you know, I felt like I was in the Bahamas. It was <laughs> a pretty cool sight. But, uh, yeah, so they're, they're on, I saw a seal too. But when you see a seal, don't go in the water. You know what that means? <laughs> yeah. What, probably a shark not too far behind, but yeah. Exactly, yeah. So we have nice weather out there to be enjoying the water or maybe uh, heading to the beach, but waves a little bit on the choppy side. We've been having yeah. a high surf advisory. Uh, we've been seeing the waves in Narragansett actually crashing on shore. Here's our East Providence camera looking outside at Providence, of course. Bright skies, sunshine here, uh, warm temperatures in the 80s. Also checking outside Newport Harbor looking good. You can see the blue sky and sunshine here. I do expect us to have some more clouds building in for later in the day. Uh, looking at live radar. Nothing showing right here. We might see a stray shower today. That's really about it. Not expecting any thunderstorms or widespread activity uh, for your Monday afternoon. So here's that high surf advisory from Westerly to Block Island out towards Newport, New Bedford. This is until 7 p.m. tonight. Again, looking at choppy water. Those wave heights as high as about five to eight feet across the coastal regions. Temperatures upper 70s, lower 80s across the board. 80 in Providence, 84 in Taunton, 82 down in New Bedford. Again, a warm day. The winds have shifted this morning. They started out out of the south. They're now out of the west northwest. You can see the arrows here pointing, giving us a more warmer wind to get those warmer temperatures down to the shoreline. Gusting at times about 15, 25 miles per hour or so across our area. Three key things, staying breezy and dry for the rest of today. We are tracking our next severe threat with thunderstorms possible by the middle part of the week and also looking at seasonable temperatures in that seven day forecast. So no major heat waves, at least over the next seven days. Satellite and radar, high pressure in control across the Midwest. We're looking at a cold front that made its way through. That's why we had the change in wind direction. Now bringing in some drier and eventually less humid air for later on tonight, but not gonna be seeing it last all that long as we have again more heat and humidity on the way over the next couple of days. Here's the hour by hour forecast. We can time things out for the rest of today. Clouds build in this afternoon, maybe a sprinkle or a quick shower, not really a big deal, but those clouds should went out for a good part of the afternoon and evening hours. As we go into tonight, staying dry and quiet across the area, taking us into Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. that morning commute. Looking pretty good. Temperature 60s to around 70. Lots of sunshine expected. That'll be the theme for tomorrow as well. Temperatures topping out well into the 80s. And again, that wind direction is very important. We're looking at those winds out of the north again tomorrow, which means that temperatures in the 80s can get down to the beaches as well. So tomorrow is a good beach day across our area during the afternoon, looking at some highs away from the coastline, maybe even approaching 90 degrees. So again, looking at very nice weather for Tuesday, staying quiet and dry right into Tuesday evening. So for the rest of this afternoon not as humid but we're feeling that you know change in the air as we go through the rest of today temperatures falling back into the 70s though by dinner time bay forecast for the rest of today again high surf advisory until 7 p.m waves three to five feet those gusts at times about 25 knots or so then as we go into the beach forecast be mindful of this if you're at the beach and you want to go in the water uh, today high rip current risk waves five to eight feet some other uh, offshore boobies had had some higher uh, waves that we've seen reported today so again something to keep in mind if you're going down to the beaches seven day forecast next chance of rain looks to be later on wednesday afternoon wednesday evening thunderstorms coming our way uh, maybe some strong to severe storms possible as we go into that time frame but still a few days to watch that and fine tune the forecast as we get closer in time so uh, patrick smooth sailing as we go to monday and tuesday yeah not a bad looking seven day thank you mm -hmm. Stephen. coming up tonight